The Portland City Council adopted an ordinance today that puts a cap on third-party service fees for food delivery. Fox 12's Sarah Hurwitz explains why the council made the decision and how this will help local restaurants struggling during the pandemic. We're here at Pho Van Fresh. It's a Vietnamese restaurant in northwest Portland. The owner here tells me that he has had to sign on and use some food delivery service apps like Grubhub and DoorDash just to stay afloat because business is hurting right now. And, you know, the emergency limitations that were put in place by the council are to help restaurants like this one where the owner says those uh, service fees for those apps are just astronomical. It's not business as usual, but it's a start. Pho Van Fresh owner Vin Wong has had to adapt during the pandemic with socially distanced seating now expanded to outside. Right now we have five outdoors tables and with days like this and also the, with warmer weathers, uh, it will help for sure. And another tool he wasn't using before. We added three of them, Grubhub. Postmate and DoorDash. Wong says he has had no choice but to add those services to their business because for months it's been only takeout. But he says that comes with high service fees that are more than 20 percent. With that and the fees so high, we definitely have to pass that along to our customers. And it's something that we, we, we don't want to do. But at the same time, it's just with something we have to do. That's why the Portland City Council adopted an ordinance Wednesday to cap third party app based food delivery service fees to help struggling Portland restaurants. According to city leaders, if a third party company includes delivery in its services, there's a 10% cap on service fees that the restaurant must pay to that company. If a third party company does not include delivery, there's a 5% cap on those fees. Wong says this will bring down the prices for everyone. I think people still heavily rely on those services because I think the cases in Portland also are still spiking and I don't think people are coming back to dining in anytime soon. The Portland City Council conversation focused on how this will particularly help restaurants owned by people of color, including those in the Jade District, a 10 block area surrounding Southeast 82nd Avenue and Division, which is known for its Asian cuisine. Wong's family owns two other restaurants, one of which is in that district. But not everyone is on board. During that city council meeting, one driver shared her concerns. Like uh, many other people, I need this income right now to make ends meet. And any kind of law like this one that the city council is proposing to put a limit on the amount that delivery companies can charge restaurants for delivery services would directly hurt workers like me. And Commissioner Chloe Udaly's office who introduced this ordinance uh, did say that companies are not allowed to uh, reduce the amount that drivers are being paid. Now there is a $500 penalty to companies who violate uh, these caps and this will be in effect until 90 days after the COVID-19 state of emergency. In Northwest Portland, Sarah Horwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.